I work with text every single day inside of Premiere Pro, and these are my top five tips for working better and faster with text in Premiere. Starting out with number one, replace all. If you haven't been around for a while, there's a new panel inside of Premiere Pro called the text panel, and it's got some great new features. But the one that I find the most helpful is for you to be able to type in a word, like let's say you misspelled somebody's name every single time for a two hour video cut. Well, you can just type in that name and then type in the new spelling that you want it to be and click replace all and Premiere Pro will go through your whole edit and replace the misspelling every time it occurs. This also works with capitalization, so changing up your text style can be a breeze too. And bonus tip, if you click on a text section, you move the playhead to that place too, meaning you can use section titles from the text panel as a great way to quickly navigate. Number two, auto align. This one's super fast. Basically, how do you know that you have your text perfectly centered either vertically or horizontally? Well, there's actually a button for each of those. Highlight your text and then go to essential graphics. And for that piece of text, Text, the auto align for vertical and horizontal positioning are here. And bonus tip, if you center your paragraph style, then you can keep it centered horizontally even if you add or change the text. Number three, copy and paste attributes for text. This one makes me genuinely upset that I didn't know it sooner. Basically, do you know how you can copy and paste entire clips or even clip attributes like quickly poured over a color grade or an effect or a transition? Well, you can do that with your text style too, but not in the way that you'd expect. Basically, what you have to do is either create or take an example piece of text that you like. For me, for example, it's this one. But all of my other text needs to change the font, the weight, the spacing, add a drop shadow, the positioning, everything and for so many text sections. Well, if you save this example that you like as a layer style and name it whatever you want, it actually appears in your project panel. And now you can highlight all the text you wanna make look like this. And with them highlighted, drag and drop that layer style onto all of them. And they all change immediately. This tip's already saved me days worth of work already. And if you're getting value out of this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and let's keep going. Next up, easier track mats. If you've ever created this effect before by using the track mat effect, then you know that it's cool, but depending on your footage, it can slow down your computer like crazy. But this other way of doing it is a lot more gentle on your system and keeps everything moving a lot snappier, at least in my personal experience. On your text layer in Essential Graphics, you can add another layer and you can choose a file from your computer. And this can actually be a video file. So choose it to place it in, place it under your text, then go back to your text layer and down at the bottom here, select mask with text. And it does exactly the same thing, but everything is just buttery smooth. Even when adjusting the clip to resize and position it to look exactly like you want, it just works so well. And finally, captions to graphics. This one is a new feature and it's a game changer because Premiere Pro can quickly transcribe your entire video for you and turn it into text. Great, but it does it as captions, which you can't animate or work with like normal text. But now you can highlight your captions and go up to graphics and titles and select upgrade captions to graphics. And they turn into a form where you can add things like effects and transitions, which is super convenient because this is the way I added all of the subtitles you've seen throughout this video. And all that I did was highlight all of these and throw on a Premiere Pro preset that I got from Motion Array. And all the work was done for me. It's crazy. And I've left a link to that preset that I used in the description below. Honestly, now with this captions workaround and being able to animate everything everything with a preset, it's such a game changer. I love it. And you can check out the full tutorial where I break down the entire automated subtitles process inside of Premiere Pro. I'll see you over there.